This weekend is the 87th annual Bon Odori Japanese Festival here in Seattle. And Jordan Wilkerson is here in studio with a very special guest to tell us more about this festival. Yes, because dancing is a big part of the festival. And so I'm here with one of the dance instructors. This is Tyler Moraguchi. Yes. And the Bon Odori Festival is this weekend. So yes. tell me a little bit about how dancing is a big part of this event. Sure. Um, it goes back to this Buddhist uh, story about a priest who was so happy that he danced in joy. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of the basis. And so for a long time in Japan, there was a, a bonodori dance. Um, and then over the years, they've developed more and more dances. And so when the Japanese came from Japan along, you know, 100 years ago, they brought that as part of their, something that, you know, you don't need to put in a suitcase. You can just bring right. the dances. So uh, they've been dancing it. We have recorded ones from like around 1900 wow. first dances and then over the years it's kind of become a tradition and even though if you're not Buddhist you still remember it from it's like going to the fair so mm -hmm. you know you come and you, you, you we don't require you don't have to be a Buddhist to dance so right everybody comes you, you know just come out and have fun uh, it's a great family event you know we just anybody can dance you don't have to dress up you can just come as you are and um, have a good time. You know, there's, I think Irene mentioned food booths mm -hmm. and beer garden, and then there's also cultural uh, flower arrangement displays. Oh, wow. So uh, it's a good, uh, fun Saturday, Sunday event. Yeah, so let's say somebody does want to come and do the traditional dances, but they don't really know the dances. How can they learn? Uh, we have two more practices okay. tonight and Tuesday, 7.30 to 9 o'clock at our temple in the gym. But you don't, I mean, they're very oh. simple. Uh, some people call them kind of like Japanese line dances. Like what they're watching right, right. now? Right, so it's a, it's a set, maybe six to eight moves, oh, okay. and it kind of just d do it over and over again. So, you know, we run each dance for maybe five minutes or something, so if you want to just come and watch the instructors like myself, mm -hmm. we kind of stand in the center, and you just watch us and try not to step on too many toes, <laughs> and you're good. Yeah, and so. you can see people dressed up and people also dressed casual. Yeah, so like you said, yeah. come as you are. Come as you are, And yeah. you've been doing this for quite some time. Well, I mean, I grew up going to the temple and dancing. I, I used to get in trouble for kind of dancing kind of <laughs> crazy, but it's, so it's kind of ironic that now I'm an instructor. But yes, um, I've been an instructor for the last 15 years. Wow. But probably been dancing since I was six or seven, which is That's so a little cool. bit more than 15 well, years. Well, like you said, it's this weekend, but if you want to practice, they do have practice tonight and tomorrow night at the temple. But it is the Seattle Buddhist Church, and they're right there on your screen, the hours um, and dates. So I hope it's a great festival this weekend. So yes, thank you so thank much you. for coming thank out, you. Tyler, yeah. and talking with yeah. us this morning. And I think we're going to toss it over to Cam for some traffic.